Hi, my name is Lindsay Siemens, and I have been a member of First Congregational Church for about eight years. My wife, Stacy, and I began our search for a church home back in 2012. We did this at a time of fear and grief and searching for hope after my mom had passed away from Alzheimer's disease at the age of 61, and Stacy was diagnosed with MS and was facing to learn to live with her new normal. This return to the church came after many years away from church. Growing up, my parents were involved in the church and it was a really important part, part of our family life and faith community. We lived abroad for most of my childhood and whether we were in the Ivory Coast, West Africa or London, England, finding a church home was a top priority for my family. I have such fond memories of being part of inner and non-denominational churches from confirmation class, classes and mission trips, to orphanages in Romania, to youth groups as a teen where I made lifelong friends. My nearly 15 year separation from church was not because of any terrible experiences that I had, but rather my ego and intellect driving me to find hope and community and spiritual connection any place besides church. When I entered my 20s, fear shrouded as open-mindedness told me that I wasn't allowed in church because I was gay. I wasn't loved by people in church because I was questioning. I wasn't welcomed by a spiritual community because I couldn't define my God or my religion. It wasn't until I was sad and hopeless after losing my mom and facing Stacy's diagnosis that I decided to surrender to the chance that the church of my youth, which had always been a source of great comfort and community may also be a place I could call home as an adult. It was when I opened myself to this idea that we found First Congregational Church of Evanston. So since this is a moment for stewardship, let me touch on that. While stewardship is often smoke, spoken about in terms of financial support for the church, which is definitely part of it, I often frame it in terms of time and talent because that's where I often get caught up. When thinking about getting involved in the church through a committee, a special project, or a fellowship opportunity, I usually begin the process by saying to myself, ugh, I really don't want to help with that, or I don't actually have anything to offer, or best yet, what does it matter? Someone else will do it. What I have found through our time at FCCE is that doing something I don't want to do at the time always strengthens my connection to God and the church community. We all have something to offer and it always matters because getting involved is an act of love and love binds us together. Colossians 3.14 says, above all, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. During our time at FCCE, I have had the opportunity to be on the Board of Deacons and Board of Christian Education. I've also had a great time helping with special events like working with Sarah and the youth on Pageant Sunday or preparing meals for Hilda's Place. Most recently, I have joined the Fellowship Board, although COVID-19 has thrown a, thrown a wrench in our party planning efforts. While there have been times that I have stepped away from having a service position within the church, I must say there is so much joy in being part of the community, working with others and sharing love through whatever we are doing. Like our mission statement says, no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. And I would like to add, no matter who you are, you are talented and that is a gift. Take a chance and share it. Thank you.